Hey everybody, Wanna Weezum here. We are back. We took Enigma uh, through his base upgrades, and then we explored Invisible Invader. Very unique path. I'm a big fan of uh, Give Up the Ghost. But, uh, we're gonna hope that we like Chief of Staff better. Uh, there's a lot of discrepancy here between, like, the uh, strategy guide and the game. I think... Uh, the person that did Enigma's page was either in a hurry or had a bad day. It was like a temporary replacement or something. But uh, the greatest controversy, though, comes with Magic Mist, the base upgrade. The game clearly stated that the Magic Mist comes from the staff. And the problem I had is like, well, that's weird. We're already getting damage from the Mist from the staff. Box stock, meaning you could go to GameStop right now, buy Enigma, throw him on your portal... Do nothing, get no money, just come right over here to the training ground, swing the staff, and you're going to do 30 to 45, and then the f mist, if you will, will do 66 to 99. Then when you buy Magic Mist, the game was correct uh, versus a strategy guide, but you still have the exact same thing. There's no increase whatsoever. So very strange uh, the way that panned out, but uh, it is what it is, and what I would have preferred to have seen, and what would have changed my mind, is in fact if Magic Mist, the strategy guide, and I quote, Magic Mist released in invisibility mode damages enemies over time. Had that happened, I would have taken Chief of Staff and then... Invisible Invader because I would have had the hope that I would have preferred Invisible Invader more and chances are I would have You can only imagine the carnage and chaos It would be if while you're invisible for those eight glorious seconds with three ghosts appearing that swing scythes their staffs that do 66 to 99 damage and you can come out and do three to four fifty if the mist that you created as you roam around would do damage it freezes enemies already but if it did damage over time incredible stuff but it doesn't uh and so that said it's still a pretty awesome path it's gonna probably turn out to be a lot more unique but uh i'm gonna take chief of staff we're gonna see what it's all about and then if we feel like we still like invisible invader better i will just at some point in the distant future uh switch him back so chief of staff improve the mystic staff attacks Dun, 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 and that did absolutely nothing. Actually, it got us the final base upgrade. Ready for another <laughs> here we go. So we're going to get things started here with the eye slam combo. This looks very cool. XXY for an eye slam combo. Price 1054. Keep in mind, I've got 19 wing sapphires. So things will be a little different than what you're accustomed to. Now, the strategy guide, for those of you that care, say this is the eye dash combo. And then press attack 1, attack 1, attack 2 for a cloak dash combo. So clearly all they did, I think, is like switch cloak dash and eye slam. And then they just kind of crossed the words a little bit. But uh, let's go ahead and check the staff. Make sure it didn't go up. It did not. <laughs> Sometimes I've been buying things and it says nothing about it. And then our usual 30 to 45 would have become like... 40 to 60 and I'm like whoa they didn't even mention that <laughs> but that's what the staff looks like I think the spikes are new they might have already been there I'm not sure uh, anyway the primary combo yeah, if we could get it to work still looks like it's gonna be the two to three hundred so no increase there and now the I dash combo which one was it or the eye slam combo. This is hard when the strategy guide crosses. Was it the XXY? I think it was. Okay, so that looked pretty cool. And it covered good ground, too. Looks like only 165, though. That's a bit disappointing. So, let's see. 165 each time. So 30 30 and then 165. Hmm. All right, well, that's what we'll log it as then. So 30 45. Let me just do my other way. That's easier. So 30 30 165 and then critical in parentheses 45 45. What's half of 165? 82 and a half, which they don't care about the half. 
Uh, so that would be 165 and 82, 167, 247, I think is going to be what that turns out to be. So the critical side would be pretty good. But what's weird is that the mist doesn't even... Wait. Okay, so there's the mist now. It's still there, but when we do XXY... Let's just stand point blank and see if the mist still registers. I think it is. There is our 247. Yeah, so the mist will still register, it just it doesn't like increase the range or anything. Uh, which is a bummer, that would be very helpful. It's weird that the staff, you know, like exceeds the range of the mist. But Next up is the cloak dash combo, or as the strategy guide says, the cloak dash combo, press attack 1, attack 1, attack 3 for eye slam. So that just needed to be up a slot and then 1, 1, 2, down a slot. But anyway, we'll go with the game because it appears to be correct. Cloak dash combo, XXB for the cloak dash, 1364. No clue what to expect from this one. But now we've got combos across all three buttons, so that's going to be helpful. Regardless of if we fire off the one we intended to, we'll at least have fired something off. So let's take a look at it first. Okay, so kind of just like vampirish type thing. 231 twice? Really? Just found my move of choice here. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, so that's 346. I'm going to go ahead and document that. Why is it happening twice? I don't know, but who cares? Because that's just awesome. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, so... Very impressive. The way this is going to pan out is going to be like this. We're going to have... I guess I'll do it this way. Uh, 30 to 30 to 231. And then X2. Or 45, 45, and then 346. X2. Alright, so basically what I'm saying is it's going to be 231, 2, 346 twice. Very cool. So that, essentially the I dash, 165 to 247. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. 247, not I dash. That's. Okay. Let me change my wording since I went by the strategy guide. I do these when I'm not in game, if you will. So, I slam combo, 165 to 247. Cloak dash combo is going to be the 231 to 346. All right, and we still got one more to check out here. So, we've got XXX, XXY, XXB, XXB thus far Ready being. For another magical upgrade? Uh, well, technically that two to three hundred. Uh, it's pretty good on the primary side, but still cloak dash, and you would think that the eye slam would do more damage than the cloak dash, but uh, the cloak dash is cool looking, and uh, I need to spell cloak correctly, there's nothing in, in CK. Alright, so it's raining eyes, that's what we're going to do, let's get there. Alright, it's raining eyes, is it? Question mark. Hold Y to charge up the Paradox Pound attack, and rain down magic eyeballs, price 1860. Cool thing here, both pass, uh, Invisible Invader and Chief of Staff, address the tertiary, so that's always Power nice. Strike. It's kind of sad, especially when you like the tertiary. So the attack itself was left off 84 to 126. Let's see if that's what we've still got. Yes. And now, I believe we're going to just hold it, and we're going to charge up the Paradox Pound to rain down eyeballs. So let's check it out here. Okay, and it does that automatically. <laughs> so, let me get a time frame on it. So, five seconds. Alright, so five second charge time. And then how many eyeballs there are, I could not tell you. Maybe we could, if you want to know, feel free to screen cap it and leave a comment or something. But, uh, I, I've got some other Skylander business to tend to tonight, so... 
Hmm, the eyeballs don't seem to like hone in very well. Alright, so 127 will be our crit. And the thing I want to know now is do you have to hold it the full... Basically, I'm holding Y down and then the game is automatically doing this. What I'm going to try now is not holding it down as long and we'll see if it just puts out fewer eyeballs, if it does nothing, if it just does a standard slam, or what exactly. Oh, so you can. That's the way to do it. You don't have to hold it for near five seconds. And actually the eyeballs seem to work way better <laughs> when we do that too. I don't really see a significant decrease. Look at that. Hardly any of the eyeballs hit. And then if I release it myself, we get far more success rate. I'll try it a little bit longer and you manually released. Same thing, so right as soon as he starts to glow, I would release because that seems to give the greatest incidence of damage. Um, and I'll just put in the spreadsheet 85 to 27 from each eyeball. And there's a lot of them, so, you know, you, like I said, count if you want to. That said, one more to go here. And it is going to be the Soul Gym and I for several eyes. Hold Y and press X to fire a magic eye beam. 2480 is the price. We'll go ahead and pick it up. And behold, Chief of Staff Enigma, fully upgraded and ready for combat. Alright, let me try to remember how I got this to execute the best. I believe it was... Uh... There we go. What you're going to see, you saw 210 five times. Critical on that, of course, is 315. Let's see if we can maybe get some 315s up for you. Of course, since I want them or not. Da -da -da. We'll, there's one. There we go. So, got two of them that time. So, that is Enigma. He is fully upgraded down Chief of Staff. I have to say, it's a pretty good path each combo deals significant damage. Uh, the Eye Slam and the Cloak Dash. Cloak Dash dealing the most, interestingly enough. They play well with the uh, primary combo as well. Uh, is the Jump Slam still at 138 after all this? Yes, because the 207 is critical. So the, what I would have liked to have seen down this path is perhaps Eye Slam combo, we could just say like stat, Mystic Staff damage is increased and you also get a you know tertiary combo <laughs> would have been cool and may, even if we just took 30 to 45 up to like 40 to 60 and then if the Mist which is pretty powerful at 66 to 99 maybe jumped up to like 70 to 105 even uh, that would have been welcome in my mind but uh, the bottom line, Cloak Dash, very good. And now, regardless, like I said, sometimes it's hard to get the combo you want. Wait, where are those 48s coming from? We didn't have 48s. <laughs> what? So, when did the damage go up? When did 48 to 66 become a thing? Or not 4, I guess 48 to 72. Huh. I don't know, I guess it would have had to have been its raining eyes. Or something. Uh, I didn't think to check the staff there, but that's that's what I was asking for. <laughs> so, um, I don't want to reset him just to confirm, but somewhere between its raining eyes and the soul gym, the staff damage has increased to 48 to 72, which is a big jump from 30 to 45 all the way up to 48 to 72. So now, theoretically, the cloak dash, we should have 48, 48, 231, or 72, 72, 346. Let's execute one of those. Next challenge awaits you wow. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's an ample increase. Now, let's see what happens in invisibility mode. Okay, still the uh, 200, but we're doing something a little bit different there. Have the 48s. Hmm. Interesting. So, the cloak is the 60. And then the 48 to 72 is the staff. So, the staff has definitely increased. Staff now does 48 to 72. 
on all. That's my way to get out of trying to go back in and update each thing and make this spreadsheet ginormously big. So what you need to know, I think it happens with its raining eyes. I've got the staff now does 48 to 72 on all attacks. That means standard, that means your combos, that means your, you know, invisibility mode coming out type thing. So yeah that is that that is enigma and getting nice little surprise there i'm not exactly sure when it happened but it happened at some point so oh and you can turn i did not ever think to check that i'm glad that i was just playing around here um it's usually what i do after i've gotten done recording but that makes it kind of like a rotational deal if you kill the enemy off on one side with 210, 210, then you can fire off 630 at the next guy, or critical hit wise, your 3 would be what, 945. So, very powerful soul gem, and you can rotate with it, so that's cool. But uh, that's it, I'm gonna end this video so I can get it processed and uploaded so you can check it out and hopefully uh, see it before you get Enigma. That way you'll kinda know what you wanna do. Or if you've already got Enigma and you're like, man, you know, this Chief of Staff's great, I wonder what Invisible Invader's like. You can see this, you can see the attack damage spreadsheet, you can kind of compare and contrast, pick out what works best for you. Uh, that said, be sure to take those links at the top of the video description box. You can go to my site, monoweasem.com, or the Skylander Club forum, skylanderclub.com. The uh, links will take you straight to the post dedicated to Enigma. Uh, you will see all three videos, base upgrades, Invisible Invader, Chief of Staff, and most importantly, uh, for some of you at least, you will see the attack damage number spreadsheet. So be sure to check that out. Uh, I have not had much time to like write out my analysis here lately. I don't know how many people really read them. If you watch the video, you kind of know what I think of it. I know some people, a very small group of people, probably still prefer to read over do videos, but uh, I've just been trying to get these out as quick as I can. It's kind of hard with a real job, you know, but uh, that said, we've got Enigma. We've checked out both paths. I think I'm going to leave him on Chief of Staff. The more unique path is definitely Invisible Invader. Um, controversy conspiracy theory, whatever you want to call it, is magic mist. Strategy Guide said it should have been for invisibility modes mist. The game says it was for the staff. The problem is the staff already had the invisible mist doing damage. So, who knows what was really going on there. Was somebody, like I said, lobbying to make him OP? Were some people pulling against it? We may never know. But it's one of those things that you can sit and speculate and, you know, debate with your friends and other Skylander fans. So, uh, enjoy that. Let me know your thoughts. Which way would you have liked to have seen that one go? Uh, which path do you prefer? Leave a comment if you enjoyed our Skylanders research session with Enigma. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. Tell your friends about it. Encourage them to subscribe as well. You can follow me on Twitch where I live stream Trap Team. You can follow Blind Stream at that. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you back here for our next Skylanders Research Session.